So you'll notice that I kept this kind of uh, very muted looking, this grass, and say, well, why doesn't it look exactly like that? Because my center of interest is here. This is my center, not here. So this should be more muted, and it's just, that's part of what is this, but this is where I want the eye to go, to this. And I want your eye to be led around to the pastoral scene. So we, can, we have an intimate scene with something happening, or depth. So that's why this is not, it's there, but it's not as important. Now, we need a medium tone. We're going to get a medium tone. So again, we'll get this color. And by medium tone, I mean in between what I did for the light stuff and the dark stuff. See? So I got it. It's a little bit darker, see? but not as dark as that. Because when I put it on there, you should see it a little bit, this color. So you want that to be like that. Okay. So now we come down here. Now we've already put some, and now we're going to put some more stuff. And these, this, this is where we start tying those clumps or things together. Because that's how ground and grass grow. Just like that. And they're going up a hill. Right? So it has to relate. And it's getting... And it kind of fills in those, those little spots. Okay? See how it becomes more... There's more... It's busier... Yeah. We don't want it too busy, but we want it to be a little busy. I mean, after all, it is, it's wild, basically, grass. That's what we're doing here. And we'll put a little bit of it up here, just to relate to the rest of what's going on. Okay, now, believe it or not, sometimes... You have to use the infamous small brush, which everybody says Tom paints everything with this brush. Mm -hmm. But as you saw, no. I don't. <laughs> I use the brush that's appropriate for what I'm painting. Okay, so let's get some of these things. Now, we have different things that are standouts here. So we have things that are reaching out from in here some little little things that uh, have something happening on it and sometimes the rougher you are with something the better you don't have to be so and then get another one a not so big one a little smaller one now, you, you might say, well, how is that... Re He's taking this almost tan-looking color and it's coming out almost gray here. But remember, we mix that and it's taking on the surface back here so that it all relates. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're just going to put another one here, I think. Let's get one in here. And we're going to make this one. This one is... We're going to make this one a little more definite. This one looks like a plant. Like something that grew. That's some little things happening there. 
And then now I'm taking white. You don't want too much white. And we're going to make some... We have to make these things relate. They all have to be related to one another. It can't just be... So we're going to try to put in some... Especially along the edge. Because we want this to be different from this. Okay, so... So we're going to give some stuff here. And some dots and some... And it's not going to carry as well. And the reason is, again, because it is a translucent paint. And it won't carry the weight of a something that's very... Um, opaque. So it's just stuff growing in the ground here. Whatever's over here and over here. Now let's get something up. Sometimes they grow in tandem. They grow together. The same weed. The one we keep chasing. And that's what that is. So, and I don't like this, so... We're going to kind of put something across that and put some leaves on it or something. So what is it you didn't like? Yeah. I didn't like this just sticking straight up. It didn't relate oh, yeah. somehow to the wall. So I kind of, yeah. you know, kind of helped it. Put something next to it. That would help it. So now we're starting to get this feeling. All right. And we're almost done with this grass on this side. So we see that grass takes a little while to, to make it look right. You know, to make it uh, relate. And again, we're using a small brush to get some of the... We're breaking up some of the mass and then here's something that this is a little secret see, that we use some that I use sometimes and we take the our brush that is kind of damp right and we go back and we see areas where we don't like the way it looks or something so we drag the brush around on it, just like we dragged the brush over here. Well, we're going to drag it around a little bit here. And we're going to take some of that away. Let's just give it a base. It starts to become grass. Okay. Now, uh, I think we're going to stop there on that. I think that's enough. We okay. have enough there. The, the one few thing, let me just put a couple of these first. I want to just put something that just, it doesn't seem like it relates, but it kind of does. Because we want to keep in mind that this is a hill going up this way. And I don't want it all just leaning all this way, like a bush. So it's kind of their stuff, and there are things happening. Now, see the different leaves and, I mean, blades of grass? And this is how specialized you can get. I don't want to go too far with this, but I just want to show you when you use this other opaque, now this white is very opaque. So we could take this one now. See, these others can be painted over, or the, the bottom comes, the what's under it comes through, bleeds. But 
This one is a little more opaque. So now I can look for some of these bushes, I mean some of these uh, plant life, and I can put just little highlights that that's like a shine on that grass, like I did on some of, some of those. And this gives it, it relates to it, see? Something makes that one stand out, and maybe this one in a couple of places, and maybe one over here. Not too much. The key is don't, don't go too far, because it won't relate. It's all got to relate. And it gives it depth, feeling, and that's it. And that's it. Right. No more. Let's pause once.